and I love Pango Pango because it's my home. American Samoa is located in the South Pacific, below the equator. It's the furthest and southernmost U.S. territory. As you drive along the coast, all the way through to the Pango Pango Bay, the water, just everything. It's just really, really beautiful to see it. Tutuila and the harbor is like something you can't find anywhere else. The most beautiful, natural harbor in the world. You gotta enjoy the ocean. Go snorkeling. See the island from the harbor. And you can see the majestic beauty of being in this beautiful bay. You gotta enjoy the World War II artifacts that we have. It's a short hike up at Blunt's Point. Pu'u is how we traditionally cooked our food. It's like our outside oven. It's right on the ground and then it's covered with hot rocks. That's what the rocks are, are heated up. And then you put food and it bakes in there. We bake breadfruit, we bake taro, we bake chicken. If you want to experience the umu here in American Samoa, the best place to start is Tisa's Barefoot Bar. They do an excellent job. Sadie's by the Sea in the Goat Cafe is probably the most ideal place for a beautiful view of the bay. Going to the National Park in American Samoa is a great experience. One of the most unique things about our national park are the indigenous plants and species that live there. Rainmaker Mountain, as legend tells it, is actually a person. When I grew up, I knew the Rainmaker Mountain as Pioa because that's his name. If you look at the top of the mountain, it looks like a man that's laying down facing up. If a cloud touches Rainmaker Mountain, you can guarantee it'll rain. I like views, the landscapes. It's just so, so beautiful. I think it's breathtaking. I think it's mesmerizing. It just, it just makes me proud to be part of American Samoa.